Hey, morning, folks. Happy hump day. Hope everyone's doing all right. So we are, well, I mean, quite obviously starting trade this one day, 15 minutes past the European Open. Uh, apologies for the slight late release, but at the end of the day, pretty quiet European morning in terms of the, the scheduled data slate. We did have fresh hawkish uh, comments out of the Fed yesterday, which was why, you know, we're seeing that massive, massive uh, rally here on the Dixie. We did breach the prior year low slightly before turning back and now actually holding above that 108 handle. So if we do go for a test and hold this 108, and further breach of this prior high and solidifying that higher for longer interest rate uh, hawkish stance that the Fed has been on. You know, we might see further depreciating on this uh, basically equity complex. You know, we saw the Nikkei today, the Hang Seng, the Shenzhen composite, uh, China, basically all of it in Asia just taking a hit out of this fear of basically the Fed saying yeah uh, even if we do uh, you know it might cause a recession the higher interest rates and the hawker stance you know we are prepared to do that because by the end of the day it is the Fed's mandate and what they are going to be focusing on to bring back inflation back to their two percent target so that's one second is I mean, in terms of technicals, it's pretty clear cut. You can just go back to all my, I think, previous two, three weeks of uh, price action. Pretty much the same technicals are still in play. Look at that, just a breach and then further continuation, showing you how important that 4,200 uh, 4, handle was. Um, so just going to the main sort of event of today was, you know, this happened yesterday. They said, Saudi said, warned that you know with the current market dynamics we might be you know opec plus might be forced to cut production and and reiterating again you know it was kind of like the if you use hashtag ott on twitter you'll get that thread uh for oil and it was pretty much the the only thing that was being talked about yesterday which is why we're seeing crude breaking above that resistance trend line and holding uh, above that 93 handle for the time being a retest of the trend line to me would be a sweet sweet deal in terms of getting on that long a bit of a massive if you were to ask me in terms of uh support levels you might be looking at that level over there you know there and thereabouts you know so basically a 93 handle to be held today if you were to see this continue on to test all these other handles before trying for that 98 bucks you know and also we saw api numbers overnight came in within a much with a much larger uh drawdown compared to last week so so let's see doe doe surprised us with about uh seven, seven million uh barrels drawdown last week a massive massive surprise and so this week it goes to uh you know all ice will be on the doe data later on at 3 30 p.m london time so that is it from me this is really remember to hit subscribe you know follow share um hit that bell icon to get notified for future videos and do like so we can continue to provide more of these kinds of uh material for you guys anyways have a good day ahead have a good week ahead and i will see you guys tomorrow cheers